Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this marvellous looking piece of kit on the table here is the Kit Sound Boom Dock. This is a just superb looking speaker for the Apple iPhone and iPod range. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how it sounds and also give my opinion on if I think it's worth the money. Now before I actually play some sounds through the Boom Dock, I just want to give you a quick guide around the system. This is obviously the front of the unit really nice looking and very imposing in size and it is very big if i show you this against perhaps my iphone 4 you can see that it is a big big piece of kit now it produces a very big sound as well which i'll demonstrate to you in a short while but on the front here we've got power button clock button alarm button so you could be woken up to sort of really loud sounds if that was your sort of thing we've got a nicely engineered uh, volume control in the middle We've got an input control here as well, tuning, and uh, also a tune plus button here. Has got an FM radio inside the unit. It's also got a five and a quarter inch uh, subwoofer or, or a sort of a lower frequency speaker on the bottom. Round the back here, if I just show you the back, we have got a port here, which uh, extends the sort of bass frequency. We've also got an antenna input here for FM and AM radio. We've got left and right audio input, so if you haven't got an iPod, you can input another device to this. We've also got a master on-off switch in the back and a hardwired cord uh, for getting power to the device. Now, I'm gonna get this plugged in. Before I show you actually in action, I will just show you this. This is the remote control that comes supplied. Uh, much better remote than you get with other speaker systems. It's sort of a proper remote, not one of these little tiny remotes. And this gives you access to every single control you're gonna want for the kit sound boom dock. So as well as those audio inputs on the back of the unit that I showed you a short while ago, we've also got a standard 30 pin dock connector on the top. I've got my iPhone 4 docked on the device. This is what the display looks like when the unit's sort of in standby mode. We can switch it on and we get uh, IP and 06. Now, IP refers to the fact that it's accepting the input from the iPod or iPhone and 06 refers to the volume. We can use this volume control to turn the volume up and down. We can also uh, switch between inputs, so I could switch to the auxiliary input in the back or cycle through the FM radio and if I had an AM radio connection on the antenna, it would give me that option as well. So this is the iPod playing. So let's give you a demonstration on just how this unit sounds. Gotta get get. Gotta get get, gotta get get, gotta get get. get. Okay, so that was at volume 27. Let's uh, go up to volume, it goes all the way up to 60, which is gonna really sort of be so, so loud and gonna distort so much. Let's go round to about 37 and hit that play button again. Yeah. Okay, I can't play too much of that for copyright reasons, uh, but even at that volume, and it goes up even louder than that, that was at 37, it goes all the way up to 60. This speaker is absolutely sublime in the way it actually delivers uh, your music. Very well controlled on the bass, and uh, just so, so nice to listen to. You're not gonna believe the price either. The price on this piece of kit is absolutely fantastic. I just want to cover up cover off music a little bit more with you first though. You heard something there with quite a sort of um, sort of heavy bass tune to it and it handles bass superbly, it really does. But when you're playing back vocals, it handles that equally as well. Let me just see if I can find something with a little bit of vocals on it. Um, let's go to uh, let's go to albums 
and something with some vocals. Here we go. Let's do this one. And there you go, you get the idea of vocals as well, very smooth vocals, again very well delivered and very well detailed. Now the kit sound, uh, you can actually find out about it on their website at kitsound.co.uk. It's also available from the likes of Amazon. In the UK, and here comes the price, this is going to cost you under £100. You heard it right, under £100 for a speaker of this quality. If you're in the US, a uh, slightly less better deal, round about the sort of $200 mark. This is a fantastic product. This is the Kit Sound Boom Dock, and it's really impressed me in the sound it delivers. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please do come back soon and check out more videos on the Geekanoids channel.